Okay, let's see if this works. I don't know how this is gonna work. All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome in to the AFK Kitchen. Uh, my setup broke, so I am late because I am using a new setup right now and I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna work. It's very awkward for me, considering I do the same damn thing almost every day for like a year and a half. This is freaking me out. Okay, so my TV broke. I still have my same camera, but I have like new monitors set up right now. Can you even see that? Yeah. So like two monitors I sold from Amaya's room and I'm like looking down and set it up and so it's really freaking me out. And also without the big TV on, I feel like we're not really live. So I keep forgetting like, it's the matter that the camera's on, but it's freaking me out. So I, my, my kitchen seems really awkward and uncomfortable right now. And I keep having to look down to read. Also, my monitor is so small and I can't really move it forward much. And I don't, I wonder if I should have switched these. I, I'm running out of high chairs. I need more high chairs, but I, I can't, I can't read. It's too far away. How did the TV break? Dude, Suki, I have no idea. I have no idea. So, and it's also weird talking to the camera when chat is not right next to the camera. It's weird, it's freaking me out. I'm such a spoiled brat. Um, so the TV has power to it 
and like if I click the right buttons, I know which buttons to click, I can watch Netflix, but the TV is black. So the TV has power. And I mean, I unplugged everything, I plugged everything back in. Melon just says it's an old TV. I don't know what's up, but it has power. It's physically on, the screen's just black. So if anyone has any anything about TVs, let me know. Malin poked around with it and well, he was busy doing other things. So he didn't, um, he hasn't really put in the college try effort yet to fix it, but fuck, we might have to get a new TV. And it's a big ass TV. Like that's not easy. I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world to replace it. TVs are pretty cheap now, but it's like heavy and shit. It took Suki and Malin both and I think a little bit me to get that TV up on the wall. We need tech support and the lighting is off. Oh my god, you're right, the lighting is off. I was so fucking fucked with the fucking TVs. I forgot. Oh wait, speaking about copious amounts of swearing, you should hear what I said in the gym today. One sec, let me get the other light. Watch my ass fucking fall down the stairs. I met my gym soulmate today. Unfortunately, he is not a trainer. He was the salesperson. He used to be a trainer. And I was like, damn it! I like I would have hired him in a second to be the trainer of my dreams for the rest of my damn life. He was perfect. But he said he doesn't do training anymore because it doesn't pay well, so he only does sales now. I was like, oh, but it's funny because I was, I felt really bad and I warned him that I swear like a sailor and I do it when my kids aren't around because it's like the only time I Children's Hospital, it's masks, gloves, gowns, all that, so that loved ones can be with the children while they receive their treatment at St. Jude Children's Hospital. Thank you so much for allowing that physical support for the children while they're going through a really fucking difficult time. Thank you so much for donating uh, that, supporting us in the AFK Kitchen, our team, the Good Cost Crusaders, and the patients, parents, and providers at St. Jude Children's Hospital. Thank you so much for your unrelenting support. We love you, Mitty! Time for a new TV, IT. I know, we just like bought a whole bunch of shit and now we're gonna buy more shit? I think we're gonna have to do it. You guys are right. Time to get a new TV. Not anything bigger. Like this TV is, like I, I know Suki knows how big it is. She's the one who had to fucking lift it. Like I know it's sideways, guys, and it's like on the ceiling, but it's like, here, you guys wanna see? It's, it's too big. Honestly, it's too big. Like. Kathy for scale is big TV. So we, I think we can actually afford to downsize and get like something slightly smaller, slightly less smack you in the face when you walk by it. We'll see. I don't know. But yeah, this TV is, I want to, I'm not dead yet. Like it still has power. The screen's just black and I keep feeling like there's some way we can fix it, but I don't know if we can. Why does it look so blue? Oh yeah, it was because the lights weren't on and also uh, the sun is setting right in my damn eyeballs. Oh my god. Light! There we go. Alright. Today's definitely gonna be an alcohol day. I was doing, I think, okay, I still think I'm doing pretty good. Three out of seven days ain't bad. Used to be like nearly seven out of seven days, so it's good. We are cutting back, but we are probably gonna have some dolphin coke tonight. I already got my coke bottle out. I know it's a big TV. I held, I held it. I know, right? That thing is. It's also like, even though it's a fairly like it's not huge, but it is a big TV. It's oddly dense. Like it's very heavy for how for the size. It. I thought it would be lighter, but it's really fucking heavy. Uh, what up, Seth? We are. <laughs> I didn't know what to do for tonight. I just wanted to be funny. We are going to be doing uh, honey buns. Sweet, sweet honey buns. We're making dinner rolls with honey in them in honor of the fact that I did 50 squats today. 
You know, the only other thing going on today was, I think it's the anniversary of the Three Little Pigs. Disney's Three Little Pigs, and I was gonna do something with Three Little Pigs, but dude, I'm so tired. So we're just, we're gonna bake, because I said yesterday I don't know how to bake, and everyone's like, baking is easy. So fuck it, we're doing baking tonight. I'm not eating anything that we make, but I'm gonna make it for hubby and the kids. The kids are gonna be here tomorrow. And they'll be here for the whole uh, Memorial Day weekend, which is kind of cool. Um, that is the menu shopping. Yeah, we're gonna. I uh, I went on a slight shopping spree because turns out I have no pants and no shorts. I only have yoga pants, and my other jeans got up and ran away. So I ordered a bunch of pants. They fit actually really well. And then I ordered five pairs of shoes using the Amazon Prime thing. So it's pay before you buy, or I'm sorry, try before you buy. So they send it to you, they don't charge you. You try everything on, see what you like, you send things back, and then what you end up keeping, that's what they charge you for. I picked out five pairs of shoes, zero of them worked out and fit. So I'm glad Amazon has this thing, because I am definitely that person who is difficult. Yeah. Hi, Mandy, welcome in. Nice to see you as well, happy Friday. Caffrey, uh, what should we, oh wait, Kathy, what should we chicken fry for the next Feed the Hungry? Oh my god, anything. You could fucking chicken fry vegetables. It's just the freaking batter on anything, and then deep fried is fucking delicious. I don't know. What do you want? Pork? <gasps> we can do pork. You know, the other white meat? We can do pork, maybe. Fucking catfish? So, someone got me turned on to catfish last night. New Vision was doing the catfish ceviche the other night, or last night. So yeah, I'm down for chicken fry anything. Just put it in my mouth. I'm down for the Sean look. Uh, Madeline lifted it. I was there for moral support. Okay, I was there for management and supervision because I did jack shit. I don't, I, again, I have no upper body strength, which is why I'm going to, uh, I, why I'm rigorously and vigorously uh, interviewing so many trainers. You guys, I have an Excel spreadsheet starting. Like seriously, we're back to Excel spreadsheets because there are so many different trainers from do so many different facilities and I'm like interviewing all of them because whoever I pick is going to be like a long-term commitment. So I want to make sure that I, you know, try everything. And they're actually really flexible nowadays about you like being able to try different trainers before you settle and commit to one and make a down payment or whatever. So like, it's time to bust out the Excel spreadsheet. I got some trainers to log. Uh, I already have a three, I have four. I have four uh, upcoming session meetings and I don't know, I don't know who we're gonna pick. But the guy that I saw today, I like, he was so perfect, but he's like, I don't train, but he's gonna, he's gonna give me a special training session anyways on Monday. He's like, walk, if you come in on Monday, I'll, you get a free pass for the day at this gym. During the free pass, I'll take an hour off and I will, I'll, I'll do a, your free training session on the house on Monday. And I was like, okay, I'm excited. He's, he used to be a trainer, so it'll be really fun. But unfortunately, he's not gonna be the one who actually trains me. And he's fucking perfect. He's perfect. Sorry, I've been lurking the past few days. I was sick and almost went to the ER on cues. What? How did the blah blah pie turn out? Also, F you, Malin. <laughs> you, Malin. Uh, okay, so the pies turned out really good. Um, I actually still have our pie for uh, the kids to eat when they get here. I haven't put the whipped cream on it. It's in the freezer. So we have ours, uh, the circle one, and then I did two like sheet pans for the shelter and they were huge. They turned out really good and I tried all the different components separately, as did Jason Mallon, but uh, only the shelters had it all together. The pies turned out great. The, the steak fingers, as they're called, I learned, the chicken fried steak tenders were fuck balls amazing. And then your girl dropping the food off at the shelter yesterday fucking biffed it. Ass over tea kettle fucked my knees up, ripped one of my favorite pairs of yoga pants. And like my, like in, insert inappropriate joke, my knees are like, I can't get down on my knees. It hurts so bad. Uh, Cause I fucking slammed them. And then the gravy, luckily I made way too much gravy, which was good because like, a third, if not half of the gravy fucking ended up on the sidewalk. The cakes were, or the, the pies were fine. The chicken tenders were fine. The cheesy bacon grits were fine. Everything came out great. Everything survived from my van to the, the mess hall, except for half of the gravy, which, and my kneecaps. Those got fucked up. But yeah, everything else turned out really, really well. Uh, what's up, Charles? Welcome in Redeeming Cook for Lana. Cook for Lana heard. Sorry, I have to 
Your everyone's text is really small, so I'm going to get yelled at tonight for um for missing chat or something like that. I'm doing my best. I have LASIK surgery. Like I I can I do have 2020 vision, but that's just really small text, and I don't think I can get this motherfucker any close to me. Can I? Let's see. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh yeah. The funny thing is the guy who I said is like my training soulmate. Um, I told him like. I have to behave when my kids are around. So like this time at the gym is gonna be the only, one of the only times I get to be myself and like actually swear. And then he's like, no, go ahead and swear in front of me. I don't care. And I was like, no, no, no. Like I, I have a very, very foul mouth. Like I'm, I'm doing my best to behave because we just met. I'm trying to filter myself. I'm trying to be a lady. He's like, no girl, you don't have to be, you don't have to be filtering on me. Just, he's like three swear words. Just say it right now. I was like, okay, cock bullshit, fuck. And then he's like, and I was like, that's technically four. I'm so sorry. And he's like, no, it's good. It's good. But he was hilarious. He's like, no, just get it out of your system now. And I was like, okay. And he was the funniest guy ever. And I told him, he's like, what's the number one thing you're looking for in a personal trainer? I was like, sense of humor. Like that is my number one thing. And he's like, okay. And he started listing the trainers. He's like checking off the list. He's like, okay, don't go with this one. He's not funny at all. Don't go with that one. And he's like, he's like, and then he would call trainers over to us one by one. He's like, and then he would just kind of throw them on the spot and ask them a question and like see how they rolled with it, like if they had a good sense of humor. And one guy, I was like, oh, he looks like a really good trainer. Like he was really beefy and, you know, good looking. And he had a nice smile. I said, like, oh, maybe I'll go with him. And then the guy talked to him and like, this guy is so awkward. Like he's just like overly professional. And I was like, ah, oh, no, no, no. Anyways, I had a lot of fun at the gym today. Uh, what time did you get on last night? I passed out waiting for you, Suki. I'm so sorry. I got on at 10.45, so like 15 minutes later. I Latest I like to get on is 10.30, but Jenny and I were having such a good, it was just the two of us last night, and we were just chatting the night away, and so, yeah, I got on really late last night, and then I stayed up 45 minutes into extra innings. It was a long night last night. Um, blah, blah, blah. Cat block, I got you, I got you. Charles, I got your cook for long started. I actually have no idea what we're going to put in Lana's Treat Redemption tonight because I ate all the meat. I didn't eat all the meat. I ate a lot of the meat. So she can have, maybe we'll do like a three cheese or something like that. What does Lana want? Uh, what does Lana want? All right. We're going to go... omelet for Lana because we don't have any like random meat just lying around. Uh, how small is, small is the text? Well, I just moved it closer to me, but I mean, whoopsies, that small. That's how small you guys are. So it's, it could be worse. It could be worse, but it's a little bit better now than moved forward. It's just weird looking down because I'm so used to looking up now. It's kind of weird looking down. Uh, I know I've been lurking and making a few comments. Just hard to chat while coughing and seeing double. No, dude, chip. Like you, you do you. When I was sick, I remember lurking in the chat while Malin was fucking up my stream. That time where he was like playing Worms Armageddon and like saying stupid shit. Oh my god, I so badly wanted to like get up out of bed, go down the two flights of stairs, and just yell at him. But I, I couldn't. I couldn't even get my phone out to like fuck with him in chat. I was. I, I totally get it. You take care of you. You do you. We are always here. And oh yeah, don't worry, your channel Point Redemption was in good hands and um, the I'm absolutely positive the shelter loved the shit out of it because I ate the shit out of it. Like I, I made extra so I could snack on it and it was fucking delicious. So if I liked it, I'm pretty fucking sure they liked it. It was awesome. I thought like, uh, I, not pick up. I just uh, keep on you and tell you less. It's all good. I not pick. I just keep on you and tell you less. You get concerned. You see it. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate you. Kathy, filtering. I was in public and it was the first time these people had ever met met me before. And like it's, I'm noticing. Um, I'm noticing a pattern. I don't know how I just noticed this shit, but I notice this pattern when people first meet me. As soon as they hear that I'm a mom and that I have like four kids, and especially if they hear that I have two younger kids with disabilities, I instantly get like, is it called pigeonholed? I instantly get like categorized as this thing. And 
it, it's really annoying because they instantly categorize me as like this like nice, wholesome, stay-at-home soccer mom, probably goes to church, and then the like and the charity thing and all this stuff. So people automatically think I'm like some like super wholesome whatever the fuck. Like how people think Suki's a um a Girl Scout when really <laughs> she's Suki. Uh so anyways. I noticed this with Amazon too. So I was doing the Amazon Prime personal shopper and I explained who I was, what I was looking for clothing wise. And all I got was fucking soccer mom clothes with like pastel shit and capris and goddamn loafers. And I was like, the fuck are you doing to me? Like, and I think it's because my profile said I was a mom, right? So anyway, same thing at the gym. As soon as he heard like, what time can you work out or what's your goal? I was like, well, I, I only have this short window of time in the middle of the day while my kids are receiving services. This is the only free time I have for myself. And so instantly the guy got like really professional, really like, you know, prim and proper. And I was like, fucking no. Like you, like when I first walked in and I got my little sass going, he was like friendly and like chatty. But as soon as he, he learned a little bit about me, he got really like, um, filtered in front of me and I was like, no, 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 go back to the way you were. No, no, no filter. So I told him like, yeah, I know everyone thinks I'm a mom and they instantly think I'm like some fucking, I don't know, whatever, Susie Homemaker. And it's such a struggle. So now it's like, I don't want to tell people when I first meet them, like who I am or what I do or anything like that. Cause they instantly think I'm, and then when I start swearing and tell them I'm on Twitch and that I drink like a, fish and swear like a sailor freaks them out. So I filter myself when people first meet me because I tend to scare people when they first meet me. What up Houston doll? How are you doing? Welcome in. Is it me or is it fucking hot in here? <gasps> it is hot. One sec. I, it's like 70, 80 degrees outside and I just realized I don't have any of the ACs on. Doesn't fucking matter. They can't even reach the kitchen. We have two AC units. Neither one of them touched the kitchen. I guess we could we could probably open the back door, but then my neighbors will were, will hear me being all crazy and shit. All right, we have two AC units on, even though they're not going to do anything. Or if you do want them to do something, I would have had to turn them on like two hours ago. Ah, uh, yep, yep. Passed out by then. I'm sorry, Suki. I was really late last night. Uh, Suki's like, were you behaving around me when we met? Mmm. Not once we started drinking. I think when I first met you, I, or with anyone, I'm always a little bit more filtered, a little less sweary, and a little less like raunchy and vulgar. I tend to be like toned down, li little toned down. But like, I think once we, once we were, did we go to the restaurant first? Or we started drinking for, I don't know. Once I got like one drink into me, I was like, let's go, Sophie. Yeah, I warm up really quickly. I do warm up pretty quickly. It's just, you, you can tell the people who uh, take shit seriously and people who don't take shit seriously. And so once you get a vibe for a person, then you can figure out pretty pretty quickly how, how filtered you need to be. Uh, with Suki, I figured out quite quickly I she was exactly the same in person as she was online. Uh, yeah, Girl Scout vibe. It started as a sore throat and then uh, boom, bronchitis and severe cold tested negative twice for uh, the beer virus, the Mexican beer virus. I uh, could barely breathe on Tuesday. Oh my God, and use oxygen for half the day. Now I'm uh, losing my voice from five days of silence to hours of phone calls and chatting. Crazy. Sean Luke, that happened abruptly. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. So you have, you have bronchitis, like a terrible version of bronchitis. I am so sorry about that. Uh, what's up, Charles? Yes, I'm hilarious. Uh, how are the kiddos? Good. Um, I think, oh, uh, Jace, Jace has not been sleeping he's been waking up at like three in the morning and not going back to bed. Like he's been waking up every, every night around three in the morning and just raging the whole day. So that's been interesting. But other than that, kids are good. Lena said, come with me. I think it's something she's scripting or she, she learned it from a TV show or something, but she's using it correctly. So she grabs my hand and pulls me and she says, come with me. It's so cute. So she's starting to use more words and she said, happy. And she sings a lot of Baby Shark. But they're good. The kids are good. And big kids are same old, same old. I haven't seen them since last week. So we'll see. We'll be here tomorrow. Uh, I think Carter's doing really well in baseball. And Amaya went to prom and said it was really fun, which is crazy because she did not like homecoming. But apparently prom was good. 
uh, uh, possible dates thought uh, I thought was conservative. Possible dates thought I was conservative. Yeah. It's, uh, I guess, in the beginning, the people, I think, I think it is, they always say you gotta look out for, like, the quiet ones or the people who look like the goody goodies. They're usually the, or usually the worst. They're usually the most naughty and uh, raunchy. How old? Exclamation point. Kids, thank you. Yeah, new, uh, nudes, thank you for that. Amaya's, uh, almost 17. Carter, what, what month is it? Yeah, so Carter will be turning 13 at the end of next month. Amaya, after, shortly after him, will be turning 17. Jace turned 5, and Alina just turned 3. So, yeah. Uh, oh, the cool thing about the gym is I, the new one that I might be going to, I can take Jace with me. They have a kid's play area, and Jace is well-behaved enough that I can take him, probably, to the gym preschool. I don't think I can take Alina, though. Like... Her, her special ed preschool teacher can barely handle her. I don't think a gym person is going to be qualified to deal with the craziness that is my daughter. So we're going to spare them Lena and I'll just take Jace. And maybe, I think Lena's not too hard to take care of if you only have her. But if you have Jace and Lena, it can be kind of hard. So on Monday, Malin and Amaya are going to be on Lena duty while I go to the gym for my free session and see how it all works out. I'm excited. And then I'm all, I tried what True Sensitivity said to do, and I'm also trying an online guide, and I might be doing them at the same time. That sounds raunchy. But uh, I might be doing an online fitness coach and an impersonal trainer as well, because apparently I just can't get enough. Wait, what's the difference between homecoming and prom? Homecoming is in the beginning of the school year, and it has something to do with football. I think it's like, the first football the first football game that's a home game or supposedly that's what it is it's like when your football team comes home homecoming and it, it's it's and i think homecoming is technically a little less formal than prom which you're supposed to go all out get a limo fucking everything for a prom uh so yeah homecoming is just and also i think underclassmen so all all ages can go to homecoming only juniors and seniors, so the, the last two levels of high school, only, why did I do that, are allowed to go to prom, so, um, yeah. And Amaya went with a huge group, there's like nine of them out all together. And Malin just told me a story that when he went to prom his junior year, he was the only guy with like six or seven girls. Yeah. Malin's got some interesting stories from high school, apparently. I did not know that. I hated all of the above. I did not like prom. I did not like homecoming. I didn't like any of them. But, you know, high school was difficult for me. Apparently not so difficult for Malin, Mr. Athlete, nerd, super popular asshole. He's not an asshole. He's actually a nice guy. All right, dog. This took me forever to make. So, you have Nana, three cheese, Egg scramble. We got Tillamook cheddar cheese. We got mozzarella and Asiago. Freshly shredded, your majesty. All right, thank you, Charles. Lana is super happy with her treat redemption. Uh, what's her disability, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, Lena? She is autistic. Both Lena and Jace are both autistic. Uh, they present very, very differently, pretty much polar opposites. Uh, but Lena, on top of that, has a, a severe speech delay to the point some call her nonverbal, some call her preverbal. Either way, she doesn't talk. Or uh, she doesn't use words, verbal words, for functional communication. She has no functional communication at this point. Like, we're trying to get her to use an iPad to, to communicate, and she won't do sign language. She uses her hands to do other stimming things. Uh, but yeah, both my, both my kids, my younger kids are on the autism spectrum. Jace, you, I can take him places. Lena, I can't take places. She pretty much rarely ever leaves the house because if you make her leave the house, she will scream, bite, and claw your face off. Hence why I have this, oh, you can't see it. I have a big ass scratch. I, I covered it up with a little bit of makeup, but I had two big scratches on my face from my daughter kicking my ass the other day. So interesting. Sounds very costly, but teens there. We have no such thing. It is super expensive. So what I did, because I was broke, and I came from a very poor family, they had this thing called Cinderella's Closet. 
So it was a nonprofit, and they would bring racks and racks and racks of dresses to the school gym or cafeteria after school hours and you could shop them and like you could pick out a dress and accessories and shoes or whatever and then you got to take it home with you and then after prom or homecoming cinderella's closet would come back and you would just return the dress and they paid for all the dry cleaning and everything but you basically for free got to rent dresses and they did it in low come low income schools and we came from a poor neighborhood. We had low income schools. I mean, you are very limited on the selection there, but at least you have a nice dress that you could wear. I look like a cracked out tooth fairy when I went. Oh yeah, big pale pink ball gown, like fuck ton of tool. And I don't know what the fuck I was. I got like gloves, like white gloves. Oh my God. I look like the tooth fairy on crack. Oh, my hair was a mess. It was terrible. God, those are embarrassing pictures. I hate those pictures. I want to burn all of my prom pictures. And I can't remember what I wear to homecoming, but I probably look like a cracked out tooth fairy in that too. Jock, hello. Malin was not, okay, he, was Malin a jock? Doesn't jock imply like bigger build? He wasn't a big, he's very, I actually have his picture, his senior picture upstairs on our mantle. His mom just dropped it off and like it's just sitting in our room. But I have Malin's high school pictures if you want to see what he looked like in high school. He was very lean, dude ran cross country, like very skinny. But yeah, he was an athlete, but he was also a straight A student. So whatever you call that magical unicorn, that's what Malin was. I was just a chubby nerd, so whatever. Uh... Still not cooking, all talking, Rick? Where have you been the past three days? That's all I fucking did. No, today we are, look, I just finished cooking. I made that. I already made an egg omelet, and now we're drinking. Why you always gotta come in and flip me shit? And why do you always come in on the days where it's like, where are you on the days where I do start cooking right off the bat? Though, look, come on, what, what food and drink streamer starts cooking right off the bat? Nah, it's like, I'm not drunk enough to get to that analogy metaphor yet. We'll get there later. I like her stories. I like her stories too, Retro. What's up? How are you doing? Welcome in. Are we going to start our Dolphin Cokes? Are we going to do regular Coke or vanilla Coke? I think we're going to go regular Coke because I want to I wanna kill this one. So I can have an empty spot to put in a different beverage. How many do we have? Three? Okay. I don't think we're going to go through three. We'll start with one. One Dolphin Coke. Her Oh my god! I forgot, I also have a mango lassi. It's not Kathy friendly, but I totally got a mango lassi. So good. I don't want to drink the whole thing though. It's got a lot of sugar in it. Malin had a really good day at work and to celebrate, he wanted Indian food. So we ordered him Indian food. I had a couple bites, but I can't eat a lot of Indian food because of the all the sugar and stuff that's in it. Uh, well, it's a free world. Don't like it? You can leave. Nudes with the uh, common sense. I appreciate you. Uh, into athletics equals jock. Okay, so anyone who's into athletics is a jock? Also, where the fuck is my ice? Ah, there it is. Found my ice. Anyways, uh, then I guess, then yes, Malin, Malin had to have been a jock then because he, uh, he's done sports since t-ball so really really young he's been doing sports um but i don't think he ever considered himself a jock he did baseball wrestling soccer basketball football did i say cross country is there any other ones i don't think he did golf as a kid that came later i think those are all, all six sports i did kendo that's pretty much it i did volleyball for like two weeks I did soccer for one game before I broke my arm, and I did swim team in the seventh grade for like a couple months, but I sucked at swim team. Pretty sure I got last place every single time. Yeah. I can't even do the fucking butterfly. I can't do the butterfly. You need like upper body strength and muscles to do the butterfly. I can't do the butterfly. I did the freestyle and, wait, freestyle breaststroke, backstroke. I think I did freestyle and backstroke. Also, dog is crying. Yes, Lana. Here. Go, dog, go. Go, dog, go. Go, dog, go. Is 
Is Newt still here? Lana's boyfriend shat in my driveway. Yeah, Lana's boyfriend, the big old boxer named Luke, he fucking dropped a deuce in the middle of my driveway and then I drove over it. Lana and her fucking boyfriend. Uh, I'll let Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, dude, I heard that movie didn't age well. Did it not age, or was it Revenge of the Nerds, one of the sequels? Did not age well. I remember liking that as a kid, especially when the guy goes, nerds, but apparently it did not age well, which kind of sucks because I liked it as a kid. All right. How's we going to do this? Okay. We have to stir this and then get it in that. It's tradition. Uh, what beverage in the can? That is Coke, like Kroger brand Coke Zero. Yeah, I got it for a melon because it is one third the cost of Coke Zero. Like the actual brand name Coke Zero is so fucking expensive here in Washington because we have this like sugar tax on soda. Hence why your girl drinks a lot of seltzer water, fraction of the cost. Uh, but Malin really likes Jack and Cokes. So I get him, but he likes Coke Zero. So I get him this knockoff brand. It just saves so much money. But yes, I buy the knockoff brand. All right, so I think what we're gonna have to do is this. It's gonna have to go on here. And then we're gonna use this, like this. Oh, she's, oh, she's dripping. Bad cat. Does this not seal all the way? Oh, no, it's not. It's still... Mm. I wonder why it's not... Did I not do it right? No, it's on all the way. It's on all the way. Let's try one more time. See if it leaks again. Yeah, it still leaks. Son of a bitch. Oh, you know what? I could just do it over the sink because that would be what a smart person would do. Or a smart person would be like, Kathy, why are you pouring it in a Mexican Coke bottle? You could just drink it out of the mason jar. And I would tell that smart person, you are correct. But that's not how I do it. I have to drink it out of a Coke bottle. Tis tradition in the AFK kitchen. Uh, next time I'm out there, says Suki, I'm raiding the fridge as soon as I get there. Oh, God, Suki. Next time you get here, I will be better prepared. Yeah. You should do it on a month where, like, nothing else is going on. And then I'll be better prepared and I'll have food prepared for you. Though I will give Malin props. He did quite a good itinerary. I think he kept you pretty busy. Malin went on more dates with Suki in the short period of time she was here than he's gone on with me in like the past year. Suki got to date my husband more than I did. It's okay. It's fine. I don't mind sharing. I don't mind sharing. It's okay. I'm just saying. He like took her out to the movies. He took her out to lunch. He took her out to dinner. And I was like, the fuck? Last time my husband took me on a date. It's okay. Woo, that is some strong rye. It's okay. I got my dolphin cokes and I got my chat. I ain't, I ain't complaining. I ain't lonely. The logo looks, well, you like the logo? Good to know. Yeah. That silly dog. Oh my God. It's not the first time Luke has done that. Luke also, one time I left a pack and play on the front doorstep. And it's on our security camera. The fucking dog, Luke, came up onto our porch and peed on Lena's pack and play. So when I went uh, the next day to go and get it, I was like, how did it rain on my covered porch? Because it was obviously wet. And I looked and I was like, that's got a slight yellow tint to it. And I like smelled it and I was like, oh my God, that's urine. Like what the fuck peed on my front? What peed? Like did some drunk guy go down our long ass driveway and pee? Like I couldn't figure it out. So I went back to the security camera and lo and behold, Lana's dumbass boyfriend came up and peed like in the wee early hours of the morning. I guess as soon as the neighbors let the dog out, the first thing he did was beeline it to my front porch and pee on my pack and play. It's ridiculous. Huh, so Coke Zero has the same price as normal Coke. Oh, pro Coke Zero, I think does have the same price as normal Coke, but Coca-Cola, the brand here in Washington, so expensive. I think it's up to like $8 for a 12 pack. Just a 12 can, 12 cans of Coke, $8, where I can get the knockoff brand sometimes on sale for three bucks for the thing. It's ridiculous. Um, I got skin abscess. Oh, no, Retro. So I had it operated on today uh, at the doc's office. All better got antibiotics, too. It was on my leg. You got a skin abscess? 
I'll be honest, I'm going to Google that later. I don't really know what a skin... Ab oh, I think I do know what a skin abscess looks like. I'm so sorry to hear that you got that. I hope you heal up quickly. That, that, I'm glad you got the medical attention that you needed, though. And hopefully you have a speedy recovery. Uh, what's up, JK? He's downstairs playing some game. I don't know. Where's my Discord? Can we stalk Malin? Or does Suki know what they're playing? What are they playing? It just says Malin's online. It doesn't say what he's playing, though. It says that he's sharing his screen, though. No. Where's Frank? What's Frank doing? Stalking my mods. Stalking my mods. I can't tell. Oh, wait. There's Frank. Where did he go? V Rising? I don't know what the game V... Is it like Ben Helsing writing? I don't know. But apparently they're playing a game called V Rising. I have no idea what that is. Oh, Suki got it for me. Yeah, they're playing... What the fuck is V Rising? All I did was I went down to get ice that is rightfully mine because I fixed the ice machine and there's a shit ton downstairs now, thanks to me. I went downstairs to get our shared ice and I popped and looked and it looked like it looked like Elden Ring but not. That's what in my two second look at his screen, it looked like Elden Ring. What's up, Kai Dai? How are you? Sebastian, welcome in. How are you as well? Sorry, um, my TV broke and so we have this weird new setup and so it's kind of throwing me off, but I have to look down at you guys now, which makes me feel weird. I always thought it was weird when I looked up at the TV and it looked like I was ordering from like some menu at a restaurant, but now I'm looking down and it's even weirder. Chris, along with Chris, uh, what are we making? I think we're making dinner rolls. So I, I have a recipe pulled up. Supposedly these 30 minute honey butter rolls take 30 minutes. I'm calling them my sweet honey buns, uh, just because I thought it was funny. And we'll see if it works. Somewhere in there I have to preheat my oven to 400 and then I have to figure out if I actually have honey in this house. I'm pretty sure I have honey in this house. Um, that silly dog. Uh, hope you're feeling better. Uh, I made sure he was home by minute. Yeah, yeah, midnight. Thank you, Suki. I appreciate that he was home by a reasonable hour. Didn't turn into a pumpkin on you. Oh, it's just a red irritated spot. Nothing big. Oh, for some reason, I thought an abscess was something else. I thought it was like a big bubble and it was black. But I think that's necrotic flesh. Maybe I'm thinking about something else. Yeah, Coca-Cola, the brand name, uh, Bolt Twin Pack is 1.5 liter, uh, Saigon is 440. Not bad, not bad. Uh, apparently it's a bacterial thing. An abs, oh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, Lana had one of those when she stabbed her paw. She got an abscess in her, her thing, but I never got to see it. Because by the time they found it, they are just like, yeah, found an abscess, we're operating. And I was like, okay, cool, have fun. That's all I know about it. Does Malin have his own Discord? Uh... No. He's on Discord, like he has his own Malin, like you know how he's in our Discord, Malin the AFK Kitchen, whatever. He's on Discord, but no, he doesn't have his own channel with like pages. No, he doesn't have that. He just uses mine. Um, Sebastian says, man, I had an abscess once on my arm. I knew it wasn't your normal pimple. Ah, so it looks like a pimple. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, wait, what the fuck's the difference between a cyst and an abscess then? I don't know shit, apparently. Because what I'm thinking, if it looks like a big-ass pimple, I think that's a cyst. No? I told my mom when it happened and she thought it was a pimple. Urgent care doc said I was lucky to catch it early that day. Uh, I couldn't move my arm. Holy shist! So you are, uh, like, something so small to the point that it looks like a fucked up pimple was debilitating your entire arm? Yeah, that sucks. I'm glad you got it checked out. Uh, yeah, I think it's good to have people who are just like, eh, like, there's always that one person's like, you should go see a doctor. You need that part. Like, I know too many people who are just like, I'll oh, just wait it out. I'll oh, just, just check back in a while and, you know, you need that one person's like, that's, that's a little weird. You should go get it. You should go to the ER. It is really expensive to go to the ER, but it's freaking worth it. Uh, cause you never know. I actually had a friend, rest in peace, Wes. He actually died of the flu complications with no none of us knew he had diabetes but he had uh diabetes and he got a really 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 bad flu and uh he was supposed to go into the er the next day if he wasn't feeling better he died that night so rest in peace i think it's always good if you're if something's a little fucking off go to the fucking doctor please for the love of god go to the doctor Rachel says yeah it's like a big ass pimple gotcha this sounds like fun cooking stream talk. Oh yeah, abscesses. What's up, Barry? Welcome in. How are you? Uh, so he says, 
Me, it's me. I'm that friend that will send your ass to the doctor. You always need that one friend who's like, go to the fucking doctor. And you're like, okay. Yeah, I need that friend to yell at me. I actually recently learned that I, I am definitely someone who needs to be yelled at. I don't know. That's not really boding well in that whole I could be a dominatrix argument, but I do need to be yelled at. Um, to like hold me accountable for shit or making sure I get shit done. Cause I don't know. I, per I think I'm a procrastinator. I'm a completionist, but I'm a procrastinator. So I need, I need that friend. There's also why I need to hire a trainer to yell at me. And I think I got one. Well, we'll see. I have, I think I'm going to hire two. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hire two trainers. Malin's not going to be thrilled when he hears about it, but I think I'm going to have to do it. It's the only way, the only way that I'll be able to get shit done is to hire a team of specialists. The, I like the, like True Sensitivity was the one who ta uh, talked me into looking for online trainers, like coaching trainers. And I found a guy and I really like for the price, it's really amazing. He gives you a new workout thing every day. And then there's all these other things. And the best part is he texts your ass at, like it, it, through an app. He texts you every fucking day. And if you don't get your work in out in by like 10 o'clock at night, he's like, Sue. <laughs> and he'll like, he'll fucking poke you unless it's your rest day. And I, li I like that accountability. I like someone fucking you. And I asked him like, what are your feelings about getting uh, like cursed at regularly? He's like, I'm used to it. I was like, good, good. I'm glad that I'm glad that we have this worked out. Cause like, yeah, he, he's just like, if you flip me shit, I'm going to throw it right back at you. Like, you're my kind of people. So I, I think my online, I want to call him like a wellness coach because it's more like daily good habits kind of stuff. I, I think I found that guy. I really like him. And he's a raging comic book nerd, so that really sealed the deal. And then I'm going to hire an in-person trainer. But that's going to be a lot harder to find the right match. And so I'm going to have to bust out the Excel spreadsheet for that one. I think there's currently 12 candidates 12 candidates all from the same gym i'm just gonna plow through what all of them i'm gonna do a session with each one rank them do my little excel spreadsheet and then at the end of 12 weeks uh i'll figure out which one was my favorite and they'll get me for the rest of the year let it go a few days but it started to annoy me rubbing on clothes and stuff yeah yeah what yeah it's good that when it, you get to that point where you're like okay this is this is a little off, a little weird. Oh, yeah. Go get checked out. Uh, like I couldn't move without the pain. It was bad. As soon as my mom saw it and the fact that I was in so much pain, she was like, yeah, we need to go. Uh, tell work you'll be in late. Yeah, I actually had to go to the ER last January and it was, I called a nurse and I told her all my symptoms and she's like, yeah, you need to get your ass to the ER like yesterday. And I was like, okay. And then, and then I told my husband, I was like, I talked to a nurse and told her my symptoms. And she said I needed to get my ass to the ER like yesterday. And he's like, okay, fucking let's go. So we did. We loaded up the kids and he dropped me off and all that stuff. And then it turned out I have ulcerative colitis. Fun times. Uh, 12 packs are four for 12 at our parties. 12 packs are four for, four for 12? I got two Sprite Zeros and two June. Today? Charlotte, you got that today at Freddy's? Oh, really? Oh, every now and then they'll have a good sale. But yeah, that is, that's like the sale price for the knockoff brands regularly. You're talking about the brand brands. Okay. I will make a Freddy's run quite, quite. There's something else I needed to get. Jace wanted gummies. He wanted the baby shark fruit snacky things. And there's something else. I, we're almost out of milk. There's something else I need to buy from Freddy's. But I'll go to Freddy's and stock up for Malin. Usually when there's a sale like that, I buy like six, 12 packs and that lasts him a while and I just I shop the sales and so he just has this like little spot under his he's a huge work desk I just like have this like pantry for him under his desk where I stock all of his jack and coke paraphernalia boxes of triscuits and what other fucking snacks he wants half the time he's like babe I need more snacks and then the other time he's like stop buying me snacks I'm just all I'm doing is eating junk food and it's like make up your fucking mind he there's bitches we don't have enough snacks or bitches that all he's doing is eating junk food and bad snacks. And I was like, mm. Hence, his compromise is eating the kids' snacks because it's not junk food. But he's still snacking whenever he wants. So that's his compromise is healthy snacks. So expensive. 
I'm the one that wants to jump to the doctor all the time for everything. Because hypochondriac in me and not wanting to Google diagnose. Yeah, I think that's good. I have a friend who's like that too. And I think it's better to be a little over enthusiastic with your primary care physician. I think that's better. Or like the 24 hour nurses hotline. That's better than Google diagnosing. Ah, uh, don't do, yeah. I, I try my best to stay off the Googles. So yeah, I, I try not to self-diagnose and usually for small things, Malin has a bit of a medical background. So small things, I'll run it by him and he'll tell me like if he thinks I need to go to the doctor or not. But like when Lena fucked up her chin, oh yeah, baby girl, like fuck, like big cut on her chin. I was like, can't we just put a bandaid on it? Like I, the idea of taking her to the ER terrified me. And uh, Malin's like, no, that's gonna need stitches. I was like, there's no way you're gonna have to sedate her to get her to get stitches. And in the end, he's like, no, we have to take her to the ER. She has to get stitches. So we did, and sure enough, he was right. And the doctor, it took four grown ass men to pin down my three-year-old daughter and get stitches. Four grown ass men had to hold her down. And it, they, they got the stitches, they didn't, they didn't sedate her. They just used sheer force. But anyways, she got her stitches. She's got a little scar underneath her chin. It's fine now, but dude, Malin knows his shit. Um, do, 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 do. My mom has UCI. Your mom and I have that in common. Yep. It is sucky. My, one of my best friends has Crohn's though. So we bond over shitty medical conditions. It's a great bonding experience for us. We like to share horror stories. It's like none of our other friends know the shit we go through, but she and I were like, I've been there before. I feel you. It's good. It's good to have a best friend to go through it with. Yes, today. What up, sexy ass people? What up, Alara? How are you? How's life going? How's the choking? Did you go mama bear on some assholes? All right, we got butter, milk, instant yeast. I think I have instant yeast. I'm pretty sure 92% positive I have active dry yeast. Is that not the same as instant yeast? What are you? Active dry yeast. Anything else? Okay. I hope active dry yeast is the same thing as instant yeast. If not, it's going to be an interesting experience. It'll be like that time Sabrina tried to make dinner rolls with my dead ass yeast. And she's like, why aren't these rising? And then finally, after we had spent hours making these rolls that never really rose, finally, she's, we like tested it and realized my yeast was dead. So, okay, we have some sort of yeast. We'll see if these work. And the dude went above and beyond. Instead of saying, sorry, we're out, he ran and grabbed me uh, milk and two other items for me and then took uh, $10 off my order and gave me a few. What? That's so awesome. Dude, Sean Luke, I think that compensates for the time you had really shitty experience at uh, Fred Meyer with the Instacart chopper and they replaced your regular milk with chocolate milk. The universe balances out in its own special way. Laura said, well, today while I was buying lunch for everyone, I got a call from principal of Amelia School, and they said that they talked to Amelia, and what she told us and the school was true, and the discipline action was being taken, and that it will never happen again, and that these kids did that will be watched, and they uh, thanked us for letting you know. Yeah, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. That is, like, not something any parent should have to fucking deal with at a school, like... Uh, I'm glad, I'm glad that everything is uh, being appropriately handled. Yeah. Use the yeast you got. Okay, well, I don't really have another choice, Retro. I have to use it. Like, I, I hope it works and executes well. But yeah, we're just going to use what we have. How much does it want? Uh, this is ihearteating.com. I do hearteating.com. Uh, how much? Two tablespoons. Okay, we're probably going to use this. Are you dead? No, November 22nd. Was this supposed to be in the refrigerator the whole time? Refrigerator freeze after opening. Use within four months. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps we should test the yeast before we get excited. Here, let me get a small bowl with lukewarm water, and we'll see if the yeast is dead or not. I have fallen for this trick before where I'm like, yeah, let's use that yeast only to find out, guess what? That yeast is like pretty dead. All right. Cold water, hot water, sugar. Do we do the sugar now to bloom it or do we do sugar later? 
think you do the sugar now to bloom it. Either way, adding sugar can't hurt. So I'll add some sugar. This is not the yeast we're, like, this measurement is not what we're actually going to use. I'm just, for science, checking to see if it's dead or not. Um, let the yeast sleep longer before the brood awakening. Yeah, what Alara says, what? Uh, test it without sugar. All righty, daddies. No sugar, Hearn. Apparently, I don't read fast enough. That's hot water. That's cold water. That's lukewarm water. All right. We bloom it. One sploosh. Sploosh. Foam, baby, foam. It's not foaming yet. Maybe, well, how much do we, how long do we wait? Man, how shitty is it gonna be the second time I use dead yeast? Bad, Kathy, bad, Kathy. Um, I did go mama bear mode, but it was a calm, nice mama bear mode that got me further. Ah, yes, the relentless mama bear mode. I like it, that's a good one too. Sebastian says, uh, my boyfriend says that uh, what you have sounds like instant yeast. Woohoo! Thank you, Sebastian's boyfriend, for telling me that. I, I'm pretty excited. It does look kind of, kind of frothy-y. How are we doing? Yeah, don't mind my super gross thing. It's kind of frothy. Woo! I'm going to call that frothy-ish. Frothy-esque. Also, let's use my favorite trick in the book. Instant clean stovetop. Jajang! Now, oh my god, you guys look at how clean my stovetop is. It's like so clean. It's amazing. What's up? Okay. Yeah, it's, I, I don't think this is like bloomed bloomed. It's like, I'm not dead yet, but I'm almost dead. I think that's what that looks like. I can't, I think it's, I think it's dead. I'm pretty sure it's like, it's supposed to be frothy and foamy. It like bubbled up and then died and sank to the depths of the ocean. So I'm pretty sure that's dead. It's okay. We got this one and this one's good until October 22nd. So we'll use the other one. Computer, add instant yeast to my shopping list. Bad Kathy, bad Kathy. Uh, or use one of the packets. I'll use the packets ones. Yes, last longer for me because I put it in the freezer. I've never put it in the freezer, but I put it in the downstairs fridge and I had it in a big mason jar and that lasted quite a long time. I don't know why the fuck I forgot to put this in the refrigerator, but I usually, because I don't bake very often, I usually have one of these or something in the refrigerator, but the one that Sabrina used, that was in there for like well over a year. So that explains why that one was dead. This one... I'm just an idiot. I must have been drunk when I put it away. Now we know. Well, you know, Kathy never reads. I know. Bad cat. Bad, bad Kathy. Bad Kathy. My excuse tonight is you guys are very tiny and very low. That's my excuse. Uh, let it set for five to seven minutes. Okay. Computer. Set yeast timer for five minutes. What are we looking for in five minutes? Like the bubble and then sink and then bubble back up or what's going to happen? Right now it just looks like a, I don't know, like a milk tea or something. It's just like this milky, I don't, doesn't quite look impressive to me for yeast. Granted, what the fuck do I know? I never fucking bake. The yeast! The yeast, the yeast. Oh my God, Barry, that's great. Let it set for five, seven minutes. Will do. Laura's going to be right back. Yeah, wait, why are we letting it rest for a bit? Why? Do we also want to try one of these ones too? Okay. How many? Okay. Let's see. I know they're different. Okay. Uh, half an ounce. Computer. How many tablespoons are in one fourth ounce? 0 0.25 fluid ounces is 0 0.5 tablespoons. Half a tablespoon. Fuck you guys, we don't have enough to do the recipe. Two tablespoons of instant yeast, hypothetically, is supposed to be four packets. I only got three packets. Do we want to half the recipe? Can we half the recipe? How many, how many would we have then? This recipe makes 12 rolls. If we half the recipe, we'll make six rolls? Hmm. 
or we mulligans and make something else. Wait, Nudes is here. Nudes, are you going to your friend's house? Do we want to make molten cake tonight? What are we going to do tonight? I have no idea what we're doing. 